Before the break, we met Kane, whose neck problems were affecting his everyday activities. But he may just have found the secret to his recovery. So today's surgery is going to be an anterior cervical discectomy in what I call a physiological stabilization or a fusion. Okay, everyone ready? This is the initial incision. The anatomy here is just so uh, intricate, so delicate. We move past the esophagus, the swallowing tube, the trachea, the carotid, and to move them out of the way and got right down to the spine. And really, there's no disc left. This is uh, really almost bone on bone. This is a high-speed drill that we'll be using. It spins at 70,000 RPM. Uh, so it just makes dust out of all the bone and everything that's compressing the nerves. So this is the uh, implant. It's uh, cadaver bone mixed with the uh, OsteoCell Plus, the nuvasive product that um, allows for bone growth and bone fusion. So this is the nuvasive anterior titanium plate system. And as you can see, it uh, has the screw holes. Uh, the screws automatically lock to the plate as you screw it in. And by using the plate, um, you will not have to use the collar after surgery. So the retractor comes out. The tissue really kind of falls back together nicely uh, through this relatively small incision. I think the surgery went great. I think we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. Took the pressure off the nerves. I think he's going to have good relief of uh, the nerve dysfunction. I think he'll be uh, doing very, very well. That was Dr. Ian Armstrong, medical director of the Southern California Spine Institute and his patient, Kane. Welcome to both of you, doctor. Thank you. Kane, thank you. Looking thank you. good. Thank you. Thank you. I hope everyone appreciates the uh, high cost of real estate that that surgery involves. I mean, you're going through some very precious tissues. And so how many days out are you? Three days. That's wow. impressive. And I think we have a pretty cool little animation to show yes. us exactly what you are doing for those of us at home. Yeah. Go ahead and walk us through this, Dr. Armstrong. So we approach through the front of the neck, push the delicate structures out of the way, and we come right down to the disc. We take out the disc. Uh, all of this is done under the microscope. We then put in a physiologically shaped spacer. It has a bone cell or stem cell product in there that helps the fusion. We hold it all together with a titanium plate, put on the screws, and then over time, over the next three to four months, the bone will knit together and make a solid fusion. So who is the, the ideal candidate for this type of procedure? Well, Kane is probably a good example of that. Mm -hmm. He had progressive loss of function, progressive weakness, progressive numbness, progressive loss of muscle size, the deltoid, the shoulder muscle, the bicep muscle. And uh, so if you have weakness, numbness, loss of size, but more subtly, uh, you can lose fine motor movement of your hands, uh, buttoning buttons, fastening jewelry, those sorts of things can be early signs, changes in handwriting. So those early signs can be picked up on uh, by the individual who knows uh, what to look for. And in Kane's case, what's his prognosis? Kane should do very, very well. And uh, t in terms of time, he should be able to get back to surfing, uh, cycling, exercising in two to three months. Not bad. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank with you, us. Doctor. Dr. Armstrong, thank you. Great job. Thank you.